so thank you for uh, being here today. Uh, thanks, Mark, for uh, the uh, good introduction. Um, so I'm uh, Rajai Al Khadim from LinkedIn, and I cover the uh, relationship with the governments. And um, today, uh, the subject is about startups, how we can help the startups, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and LinkedIn was a startup. We, it, this is how we started. And then until recently, we still think that we are a startup, although now it's a billion dollar business and we are growing uh, very fast. So hopefully today we'll be able to share with you some thoughts on how we do business and how we can enable you also to do your business uh, to see how uh, LinkedIn can be as a tool for you uh, uh, as an individual, uh, as an investor, as a, a business owner uh, and so forth. But before we start, uh, I want to ask the question is, uh, who is on LinkedIn today uh, from a good? Who is not on LinkedIn? So half the room is on LinkedIn and the rest are not on LinkedIn but are on LinkedIn. Good. So today, um, do you want to have information? Uh, I, I want to ask the, the crowd, who is doing his own business today? Uh, who is launching a startup? So I can identify. Uh, uh, good. Can I get some examples? Yeah, my name is Majid Tabibi. I'm a co-founder and managing director at Five Technologies. We actually a digital media supplier. We are developing a Wi-Fi advertising platform uh, in public places, so anyone connects to the internet through this uh, Wi-Fi networks. I look at page at these, and we place ads in this local page. Nice. And what are your goals now? What is your immediate goals? What do you want to achieve today? Uh, at well, this stage, to get more views and clicks in Qatar market to expand outside Qatar right now. Very good. And which platform do you use? Your Actually, website? We, we're developing an a application. Brand new platform. Yeah, okay. We're trying to, you know, to achieve or to uh, develop the next LinkedIn advertising platform or Google advertising platform. So good. you are one of our uh, example for Excellent. Now, yeah, how we're doing developing the platform. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Who else wants to give us an example on what they're doing today? I saw some hands being raised. So can I get another example? Yeah. What? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, my name is Ed, and this, uh, together we're starting, uh, we're, we're working on a startup. It's, uh, it's an online platform to uh, promote businesses, products, or services. And uh, what we do basically is we help uh, businesses in Qatar. We have, uh, we have a system where we have scrapped all the data from the yellow page, so all the companies are there on our platform, and they can promote their whatever they have, if it's a product or service, and you can give promotions and everything. So it's a unified platform for all that. And what is your biggest uh, challenge or goal today? Well, the biggest challenge right now is to, is to make everybody come on that and uh, have an ecosystem of, uh, of all the companies there and, and uh, have, have their promotions on. Okay. Thank you very much for this information. So uh, when I was building this uh, content, I was thinking, so as a startup, what is your challenge? Uh, and uh, of course, uh, I'm not the expert at startup, but from a business point of view on how we help our customers, I was able to get some ideas. Uh, mainly, probably at the initial stage is uh, uh, forming the company, uh, getting the seed funding, right? Uh, eventually launching, uh, getting the customers, uh, hiring the best talent, and uh, selling. And those, uh, in a way, uh, is, is what any company uh, that would like to, to, uh, uh, to, to thrive and be successful want to do. So how can you leverage LinkedIn as a platform? And this is only one platform. I'm sure that today on your website or on your platform or application, LinkedIn is not going to get you the whole business. But in my opinion, you need all the tools at your disposal uh, to make that happen. And this starts uh, 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 with the, how we can leverage this. So most of you are on LinkedIn and people start their day on Facebook probably, uh, WhatsApp, but also on LinkedIn uh, as a way to start their day from a professional mindset. And when I say professional, it's because today we are not, people don't come on LinkedIn to have fun. Uh, they either come to network, uh, consume knowledge, content. So we call ourselves a bit of a more serious uh, uh, network compared to the others where uh, on Facebook you have uh, uh, your personal life, uh, on uh, Twitter, it's more about uh, you know being out there and then uh, uh, reaching out to people with the uh, with the status. Uh, so today, I'm going to take the example of Mark. Uh, he's a patent lawyer. Uh, I would not uh, connect with him on Facebook, but I would connect with him on LinkedIn. And if I want to uh, have advice uh, on patent law, I would reach out to him on LinkedIn and not on Facebook. 
uh, if we want to be friends, it's going to be Facebook. We'll share family photos, a nice video. So this is how we are today. And I'm sure the people that are using LinkedIn already know this. Um, how do they use it? It's uh, once you log on to the homepage uh, as a member today, and uh, also how do we form ideas as startups is all the businesses and all the people doing things are today on LinkedIn and talking about it. Uh, and we have multiple channels where uh, you can know what's happening today in big data, in uh, social networking, uh, in the business of uh, Internet of Things. And uh, it's all relevant to you uh, uh, to access this on our platform. Uh, additionally, uh, we have a list of influencers. Have you heard of the influencers on LinkedIn? Uh, it's the top uh, 500 personalities uh, on LinkedIn. Um, people like Bill Gates, Richard Branson, and so forth, uh, local and regional and global. And those people have done it, been there, done that. Uh, they don't have to be billionaires. It's people also from uh, uh, doing their own startups, but they have something to say. And once you can read what those people have to teach, it's, uh, it's just another uh, tool for you to be able to get further ideas on how to, to evolve, maybe going viral, what are the best marketing tools, etc. And this saves you from just searching online, you know, it's all out there. Um, then uh, today we're, we're mobile and that's good uh, because you have access to all that information, whether for you or your clients, uh, through mobile devices. Um, now, people used to think that LinkedIn is only for hiring people. If you want to a job, you want a job, you go on LinkedIn, you change your profile, and then that's it. I'm gonna, and that's that's LinkedIn. Uh, but the problem is that people maybe will change jobs once, twice a year, but then that's, that doesn't mean that they will come back to LinkedIn. So LinkedIn now is evolving more of a media platform with content, and people come to read content. And content is now six times more uh, engagement than jobs. Uh, and uh, this is where the brands are, thought leadership, the news, and uh, this is where you can get all your relevant information. Uh, because of that, uh, millions of people now are connecting on LinkedIn. And uh, it's uh, instead of just going to CNN, BBC, New York Times, The Guardians, it's all in one stop shop. Uh, and the reason I'm talking about this is not because I'm uh, promoting LinkedIn, but just to tell you that this is how people are using it. And if people are out there with that mindset that gives you a notion of how we can use it to your advantage, whether it's an individual or a company. Uh, because today our mission is to connect all those people and make them more productive and successful uh, by uh, providing value. Uh, 350 million, and that's either your connection base, customer base, or whatever you want to take it, those are the members on LinkedIn. And they're growing by two members per second. So every second that passes, two members join LinkedIn. Uh, in the MENA region, we have around 40 million plus members. Uh, and good news, uh, we have now Arabic as a language. So language barrier is not uh, today uh, an issue anymore. Uh, people can also uh, build their profile and content in Arabic. What is it that we provide is identity for the people who have the profile, your brand today as a person. Am I an investor? Am I a startup? Uh, am I a genius? Am I a wizard? Whatever you want to call yourself. This is your identity. This is your brand. The network is today we are in the room. We don't know each other, but tomorrow we will connect on LinkedIn. Uh, I met today uh, Indica. He gave me his business card. Probably I'll put it in my bag, but I will connect him with him on LinkedIn and we will remain connected on LinkedIn. And that information is always updated. I don't have to really ask him, what are you doing today? I will follow him and make sure that I know what he's doing. And the knowledge are the things that I talked about at the beginning, which is the knowledge that you get. Uh, I had one meeting uh, last month in Dubai with one of the government uh, agencies, and they wanted to know about innovation. So I'm not an expert about innovation. Uh, and I went on LinkedIn, I inserted innovation, and I got at least 10 to 20 articles by really gurus in innovation, where it enlightened me, and I was able to present a case to them based on this information. And you can do the same for yourself. Um, as well, uh, we help people find work, obviously, but also uh, uh, be great at what they do based on the above. Um, how do we help companies? And this is, I think, the key uh, subject for you today is uh, three pillars. Any company needs to hire talent, they need to market their products, and they need to sell their products. Those are the basis of the business. And because of this, uh, we identify that in each basis, it requires us to identify the right person, whether we're hiring a person, or we're marketing to a person, or we're selling to a person. Who is that right person? Uh, and this is a decision that is uh, challenging for any uh, person to, to, to take. So uh, 
it requires to us to identify the right person, engage him with content, okay? So if you want to hire a person, you need to engage him with the right pitch for him to join the startup. Why should I leave my great job at LinkedIn and join your, your startup? You want to do the next LinkedIn, right? You have a vision, you need to sell it to me. So you need to talk to me in a way that will make me join your company if I'm an engineer, if I'm a media expert, if I'm a social media guru, whatever it is. So this is very important. And marketing is engaging your customer base uh, with content. Uh, and if you're selling is to engage the person who's gonna buy from you with content. And if you're an investor, it's also engaging, uh, sorry, if you want to get people to invest in your company, it's also to reach out to the right person and tell him this is a great idea, you need to buy with us or advertise with us and so forth. So basically is uh, motivate them to act. Uh, and uh, this is how uh, the basis of the business we uh, But to, uh, to do this, uh, to hire, market and sell, um, we consider that, uh, you know, uh, uh, on LinkedIn, uh, 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 companies or individuals are like a shopping mall. And then your storefront is your startup. How do you get those people to come to you? Uh, why would they come and then buy from you or work for you? Uh, 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 this is the question and this is the challenge. Um, and I think uh, uh, the way to do this is using the big data that we have. Uh, who's who? On Facebook, I cannot know that Mark is a patent lawyer, but on LinkedIn, I can know that he's a patent lawyer. Uh, on LinkedIn, uh, we know that uh, people, uh, they have degrees, they are working, uh, they are successful, and we can uh, say that uh, uh, this is, those are the people we want to talk to. Um, so this is a small example. This is Pascal Komati, our marketing manager. And uh, I know who she is, I know who she knows, and what she does. Uh, and based on this, imagine all this information today. Uh, you have around 3.5 million companies on LinkedIn. So the best advice for you is now to start your presence on LinkedIn, promoting yourself, uh, and uh, saying this is we are as a business. I'm sure it has nothing to do with your platform. But today, a company is also a business. And you as an individual, you are representing that business. So what do you need to do? You need to leverage all this information. Uh, if I'm selling today a product, uh, who is the CIO of that uh, company? And how can I reach out to him? Uh, uh, he is on LinkedIn. Uh, so the vision today is, I'm going to show you this graph here, is that with LinkedIn, we are trying to digitally map the whole globe by having all the members, all the companies, all the jobs and the skills and everything to give some kind of relevant data for anyone that wants to use it. Um, and because of this, we are becoming, and this it is the most accurate way to reach professionals on the internet. Uh, can I ask you, who is, uh, you, who, are you trying to reach to some kind of profiles to sell or to market to on LinkedIn? Is there a specific profile you want to reach, for example, um, for your business? Yeah, of course. So who, who might be somebody that you want to meet or that you want to connect to today as a business to be more successful? Um, I, 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 actually, I always look for um, like a marketing department. Uh, I mean, the people responsible for the marketing department. So, so you can meet with them and sell them or try to pitch them something. Yeah. And a title would be marketing manager, for example. Yeah. Uh, let's say uh, at LinkedIn. How would you do that? Uh, in LinkedIn? Today, how would you go and find out who is the marketing manager? In general or LinkedIn? Yeah. Uh, in general. In general, actually, yeah, um, yeah. Actually, the first thing I do is go to LinkedIn. Exactly. So in the past, we had to ask, who is the marketing manager at LinkedIn? And then I showed you Pascal Komati. Nobody knows Pascal Komati maybe today. But if you go on LinkedIn, you can say that, you know, Pascal Komati is the marketing manager on LinkedIn. And uh, OK, you can send her an email or a message. And then you ask for a meeting. And because it's professionally done, she might accept. Otherwise, you'll have to cold call her, and then you have to give her a 30-second pitch saying, you know, we have a great product we want to sell you. And then she's too busy. She's not going to meet with you. Even more, once you go and see Pascal, you research her profile, and then turns out she studied at maybe uh, 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 Qatar University or AUB, and then you studied at the same university, and you graduated maybe before her or after her, 
or you said you have some common people and that will help you also identify who that person is. Uh, in the past, we used to go to me a meeting blind. Who is that person? How does he think? How does he look like? Today, we are more prepared to meet with that person. And this is a valuable insight for you uh, to leverage it. And uh, today, it's all about social selling or social marketing or social recruitment. Uh, in addition to your abilities as people, uh, you, are, you have to use the power of the web to do this. And with LinkedIn, we provide this. Uh, you can target people with the job function, seniority, company size, education, company name. And if you want to sell them today, you can also send them an email. For, as an example, Emirates Airlines, they want to sell or promote business class travel to uh, the US or first class. Who might go first class today? Give me a profile. CEO, CEO? okay. MDs or people with money. Let's suppose I want to connect with CEOs and MDs, uh, on LinkedIn I can take a list of who is an MD in the MENA region and I will send them a personalized message, personalized on LinkedIn. And on LinkedIn, why is it better? Because if you send it by email, it might go to junk because he receives a lot of emails. On LinkedIn, you only receive one or two messages from LinkedIn as uh, a content. And Emirates will tell him, this is a great offer for you. I now have a new route from uh, uh, Qatar to uh, Washington, D.C and uh, uh, open rate are usually up to 40% and people will, will, will consider it. So this is a great tool for you to start talking to your audience uh, or to the people that you want to reach in a, in a professional way. Um, as well, create your company page. It has nothing to do maybe with your business, but it will show professional. I was reading an article today about the uh, startups uh, that uh, started on LinkedIn, GoPro, Dropbox, and they saw that the people in the Bay Area in San Francisco who at an early stage engage with those companies to work for them or to see if they're cool or are those the companies that now today are uh, uh, thriving but they started long time before whether it's linkedin whether it's instagram facebook it's everything we're just one platform guys it's not we're not everything but this is from our side so create a presence say tell your story if you tell me today i have a company Okay, what is this? If you tell your story on LinkedIn, maybe I will consider it as, okay, this is professional, it makes sense, maybe I'll look into it and so forth. And of course, uh, uh, content, uh, uh, always on strategy, what are your achievements? Uh, today, my customers have their own websites, but they are also on LinkedIn, they are on Facebook with different messages and always pushing and gaining followers. If you have more followers, it will help you. And this whole strategy of being out there with different uh, messages for different audiences uh, uh, will help you. Uh, and of course, if you'd like, you can always reach out to us uh, uh, and we will help you uh, as a courtesy also to tell you the best advice. So build awareness, engage with, with, the, with people, build relationship uh, and reach out, as I said, with personalized messages, whether on a personal level or on a business level, it will help you. Um, you know the sponsored update uh, model on Facebook, we have the same on LinkedIn, uh, display ads. So our platform is not cluttered, there's only one place to place ads here and here. Uh, so it's really, uh, uh, it's really prime, uh, prime, uh, prime real estate that you can use. Um, but at the end of the day, it's all about measuring success. If you can't measure it, uh, it, will not, uh, it will not work. How do we help our clients measure success? Uh, is by also uh, helping them uh, quantify uh, their brand. Uh, uh, and the brand is, uh, um, is mainly uh, the reach that you have, the people that know you, uh, that are connected to you, uh, versus the people that are actually engaging with you, clicking, uh, researching a job, uh, looking at an article, liking, and so forth. And this will give us a score that we give some companies, and that score will give them their brand index, uh, whether on talent or uh, anything else, uh, versus peers in the industry. And we tell them this is how we need to improve on things, uh, and we help them measure that thing. Uh, so I hope that today uh, we give you some kind of a toolkit uh, that you'll be able to use uh, with LinkedIn, uh, to do things better for you. And if there is anything we can do from our side to help you, it would be our pleasure to do so. Thank you very much.